In this video, we're going to learn how to apply nested grouping or child grouping in SSRS. So let's get started. All right, so this is the employee data set that I have, and let me quickly run it for you. It is not grouped in any manner. And the scenario over here is I would like to see all the employees by their department and by their location. So this is something that we were going to learn how to apply parent grouping. And then according to the parent grouping, how we will be applying a child grouping or so to speak nested grouping. So we will go to our designer view over here. And what we will do is if your grouping is not visible, you'll click on the view tab and you'll click on the grouping uh, button over here to make it visible at the bottom. And so once it's visible over here, you would right click on it and select add a parent group. So over here, you will know that our parent group is going to be department. So we'll click that and let's select both the header and the footer and let's create that. And now if we just run this, we will see that our listing employee listing is now grouped by department. So let's apply another nested grouping. So what we will do is we will now go into our grouping panel and another department, we will right click on it. We will add a group and this time we will add a child group. So another child group, we would want to group it by the location. And again, we will add a header and a footer. I'm going to show you why we need this and I'm going to show you what are the features of this as well. So we will click on OK. And now before we click on okay let me just delete these two columns as this will not know be needed since we have grouped this over here so let's run the report and now when i run the report you would see that the department is grouped by each location and each location will show you the information over here so what happens with the row header and the row footer that we have uh, added okay so at the more at the top line over here this is the parent header as you can see and this is the group header as you can see over here so now what we will do is if i go next as you can see the header gets removed so i'm not able to see what does this column indicate what does this column indicate and so forth so what we're going to do is in, instead of placing our header on top place our headers on the parent grouping uh, rather on the nested grouping because if i click on next the parent grouping gets removed so we would want to keep it within the nested grouping. So we'll go into the design tab and as you can see, this is the nested grouping over here. So what we will do is we'll just copy this, hold it and drag it across to copy it. And then we will paste it over here. And we don't really need this anymore. So what we can do is we can just delete this. And now let's run it. And so if you can see now, what it has done is it has applied the footer onto our nested grouping. So if I click on next again, I would be able to still see the employee code and the details over here. Now, if you want to apply it on top on the main parent group, then we can go to our design. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to paste it on top. And over here, I'm going to type location as well. And so what I will do is I will change the row color for this so that there is a distinction factor. Uh, let's keep this, let's keep it bold, quickly applying some formatting and now let's run the report. And so this is the difference that you would see. But that's one thing that you can uh, do over here. You can do over here. So it's up to your user preference, which one you prefer. Uh, I would like to prefer to keep it on the parent header. So I'm going to delete the header on the nested. So if I go back to my design, what I'll do is I'll highlight this right click on it and I'll select delete a row and then that particular row will get deleted. Now I have my footer over here on the nested grouping. I also have a footer over here on my parent grouping. So if I would like to add a total, I can do that in both uh, on the nested and also on the total. For this example, let me quickly show you. So let me just keep a, let me match this together and let me type total. And what I want to do is I want to type the total uh, location. This is how I do a placeholder. Write a placeholder over here. And the value that I will be selecting would be location. Okay, so total location is, and then over here, what I will do is I will put a sum on my location. So I select location. 
I can select employee code as well. No need to select the location. Right click on it and I will summarize it by the total count. And I would put this, I think, towards the end, make it bold and gray, different color coding. There you go. And then what I will do for the last one is I'm going to match this. I can't match this because this is a group. This is grouped data set, so I won't be able to match this. But what I will do over here is I'll put total employees in set placeholder. I'll put the department is and then over here I'll do account of the employee. Double click on it, right click summarize by and select count and so i would make this bold apply some basic formatting very quickly and now let's run this report so when you uh, run the report you'll see the total oakland uh, employees is five and if you can see the summary at the bottom over here total employees in administration is 25 so it's a sum of this so this is what the headers are uh, and this is how you can apply it if you want to apply it for a nested grouping or if you want to apply it for um, parent grouping as well you can see it at the end it will show you something like this and so if you if you can't match this together then what you can do is you click over here and just highlight that so that it shows in the same pattern so if i run this again you'll see that it shows in the same pattern uh, i could go back and change the design color to make it a little bit different um, maybe let's put a different dark color over here apply the same over here and uh, total employees in so let's run that and now you can see the count is showing so this is how you can apply uh, grouping, nested grouping, or you can say child grouping. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If so, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.